In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add more advanced notifications to your DAP to better guide your users through the transaction process. To do this, we'll use notifiers transaction function and we'll pass it an object which will define which checks we would like Notify to perform and the corresponding notifications to show. You can jump on the Notify doc site, docs.blocknative.com slash notify to check the details of each parameter and the corresponding notifications that will be displayed. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to display all of the advanced notifications for a transaction. And these are the parameters that we need. So we need the TX details parameter, which is just the object that is passed into the send transaction call. So we can grab that one here, assign it to a TX details variable. And that's that one covered. We'll get rid of this here. Next up is balance, which is just a string of the current user's balance. So we go const balance. And I've created a little helper function here to help get the balance. It takes in the account and it will return the balance as a string. So we'll await get balance. We'll pass in accounts at zero, the first account, and that's balance taken care of. Uh, next up is the gas price parameter. So this just needs a function that returns a promise that resolves to a string that is the current gas price. And the web3 function get gas, price, get gas price already does that. So we can just pass that straight in. Next up is estimate gas. And I have another helper function here that will take in TX details. We'll return the function for notify to call to get the gas estimate. And then you can notice we've had to coerce it to a string here as the web3 estimate gas call actually returns a number. So we make sure that we actually get a string there. So we can call that estimate gas function, pass in the TX details. And then lastly, we need the send transaction function. And this is the function to actually send the transaction. So I've created this helper function here. It will take in the TX details. It will return a function for notify it to call. And that will return a promise that will resolve with the transaction hash or we will reject with an error. So we can call send transaction pass in the TX details. And that's everything we need to get all the advanced notifications for notifying happening. So we can see what they look like over in the app. So if we click send transaction, you get an extra notification here informing the user to confirm the transaction. If I was to reject it, then we get a rejected notification. Next up, I'll show you how to customize the message here using the emitter object. So we'll come back over here uh, the call to notify.transaction actually returns an object. So we can destructure that object and we'll grab the emitter. So now that we have the emitter, we can listen for events. So emitter.on and we can listen for a TX pull event. And this will get called, we'll register a callback. It'll give us the transaction details. So what we can do is we can console log those details so you can see what they look like. So this will happen on a TX pool event which happens when the transaction's in the TX pool. So we'll send a transaction. And as soon as it's in the pool, a callback gets called and you can see all the details you get there on the transaction. So next, maybe we want to customize the notification. So there's a couple of things we can do. If we return undefined, we get the default uh, no notification like you saw just there. Um, otherwise we can return false if we happen to not want this notification. So we'll see that, send transaction. Confirm. So we get a sent, but we don't actually get the pending notification. So that's working there. So what we can do as well, if we want to customize the message, we can return an object and this will customize the notification. There's a few parameters we can customize. So we can customize the message. Uh, you know, your transaction is in the pool. So I'll send another transaction here. Let me confirm. And you can see the custom message there. Uh, we can also add an on-click handler.
So this allows to this makes your notifications uh, interactive. So again, I'll send a transaction. There it is. Then you can see it's clickable. Every time I click it, we get the console log. So that's how you can add advanced transaction notifications to your DAP. You can listen to all the extra events that uh, Notify provides for you. You can customize all the transactions and you can make them interactive.